Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I wanted to go over the Battlefield gunplay and some improvements I would love to see for the next Battlefield game to make gunplay feel more crisp and rewarding for the player. Because I think we can all agree that gunplay in Battlefield 2042 just isn't hitting the mark currently. For one, it's because inputs are still bugged to this day, so no matter what you do it will always feel a bit wrong. But also actually the weapon handling overall just isn't it. Most of the guns don't feel very unique they all sound very bad or most of the guns sound very bad and in general killing people in this game isn't really rewarding for a lot of people i include myself there even if i go on like really high kill streaks it never really feels as rewarding as it did in older battlefield titles or also in other battlefield games so i want to go over some things that hopefully help improve the feeling that you get when you fire your gun in a game and to do this i have a few rules the first one is we shouldn't reward players for missing their shots i think that's it's very important but with the current gaming trends I have a feeling that developers try everything so that people get rewarded no matter what they are doing. Next thing is I don't want that they artificially make gunplay harder by adding random stuff i.e. visual recoil or spread but I will talk about this later. And I also want that they make gunplay learnable so that people that play the game for longer periods of time can actually sit see some improvement and it's not like somebody that comes from a different shooter jumps into the game and basically aims the same way and can control the weapons the same way people can they put hundreds of hours into the game but yet yeah. so those are my basic rules let's start with the first one don't reward players for missing shots so some of you depending on how old you are and what battlefield games you play now that in the older battlefield games we had something called suppression what is suppression well basically if somebody was shooting at you and was missing his shot you would get an accuracy decrease for your gun meaning even if you are 100% on your target your bullets might miss just because somebody is shooting next to your head or next to your body now I think this was originally intended to you know keep the battlefield vibes up a bit and also was mainly for LMGs where they could basically give cover fire so that they shoot and the people that got shot they wouldn't just peek out of cover one tap the guy and then go back into cover but overall the problem of suppression is battlefield is an arcade shooter we are not a milsim game even though a lot of people think that especially when i scroll through reddit and so suppression basically has no space in the game at least in my opinion so i hope dice keeps it the way it is and leaves it out i already saw on reddit that somebody asked for suppression coming back now that they had the visual recoil and yeah i really hope dice doesn't listen to those people because you should not reward a player for missing his shots by decreasing the other player's accuracy this is completely backwards and only makes gunplay more miserable now the next point i mentioned was to not artificially make gunplay harder by adding random stuff for one i want to talk about the visual recoil they currently have in the game the problem with visual recoil is that it's fake recoil that shows you recoil that basically doesn't exist but not only makes it harder for you to actually stay on target but for a lot of people this also makes their eyes hurt or they get nauseous and overall i think visual recoil has no place in the game and i'm also pretty sure if you fire a gun in real life they have a lot less visual recoil to non visual recoil compared to what we currently have in the game and for me visual recoil is just a crutch the same as the same as spread is for me where because dice can't balance their guns properly they have to add a stupid shit so people don't like stretch out the ranges and beam people on over 300 meters plus with their AR or SMGs and this also brings me to my next topic spread I hate spread and I think spread doesn't need to be in the game the base purpose of spread is basically you want to make it so that people don't like fully auto their AR over like 200 meters beaming somebody and so they make it so that after a few shots your shots get more inaccurate and you need to burst fire giving the enemy more time to react and also making it, making it harder for you to hit your shots and I think that's stupid. If somebody spends the time gaming to actually learn how to control recoil, how to stay on target on range, how to lead their shots, they should be rewarded for it and basically put a cap on it and basically say yeah somebody that just started out and somebody that plays the game for like a thousand hours your maximum range you can shoot people is 100 meters because after this your gun isn't hitting stuff simply because of spread. I think that's a really bad mechanic and basically benefits no one because 
The problem with spread is some people say, oh yeah, you can learn how to spread reset, but overall I think it's just, it takes the skill ceiling and lowers it by quite a lot. And I think the better option would actually be to actually add proper recoil and properly balance the damage you have. Because here's the thing, most guns in Battlefield to this day, even in the older title, are just laser beams with just a little bit of recoil control. Basically every gun is shooting straight without a problem. Now in Battlefield 2042, this is especially noticeable because we had such large open maps so they had to trim down the gunplay or the recoil even more so people could actually hit stuff on those longer ranges and if they just were to add proper recoil i'm not talking about like rainbow six siege stuff where your gun is bouncing all over the screen but you know increase it a bit and also make it a proper pattern so that people that play a gun a lot know how the gun will kick and can you know control it properly this would for one reduce the need for spread because people can now no longer laser people on range because you they actually need to control the gun and the further away the target is the harder it is to stay on them especially with proper recoil and what i would also love to see would be a proper damage balance the current problem we have in battlefield is that a lot of the guns kill relatively fast zone range i think the slowest most guns kill is like seven bullets six seven bullets and even if it's like 400 milliseconds depending on the gun that's still insanely fast because if you think about it most people have like an average reaction time of like 250 if you're a gamer it's like 180 so almost half the ttk when you hit somebody on range you basically do 50 percent of your damage before they even realize and react to the damage they are taking so of course they are dying very relatively quick and i think if dice would actually be able to balance it in a way that on range you don't you no longer need like six shots but you need eight or nine shots so you have like 600 milliseconds ctk together with actual recoil this could completely remove the need for spread because now not only do you as a player need to control the recoil but you also need to hit two or three bullets more than you needed to hit before and those things combined basically mean you can no longer laser people on range and you can only do it if you really master the recoil of your gun and learn how to properly trick and so we would be at a point where again what i want from the gunplay it rewards people that put the time in they learn the guns they have they develop an actual aiming skill so that they can still on range kill people without it being like super unfair for the rest of the game because even if you have 100 percent accuracy let's just say on range if i were to get beamed on like 300 meters by somebody with those changes in mind i would actually be really impressed by this game would say wow this guy is really good because i know not only did they need to actually control the recoil properly but they also needed to hit a shit ton of shots just to put me down on range and i think that's totally fine if you can kill somebody on 300 meters with an ar fully automatic because you spend hours practicing the recoil and you can actually track a target properly i think that's good gunplay that should be rewarded and now the last two things i would add to the gunplay would be for one sound i might put in a clip here shooting some guns from battlefield 2042 and then showing you some older battlefield guns that sound a bit different but way better And the last thing I would say would be overall weapon handling. I'm feeling that in Battlefield 2042, most of your guns handle a bit sluggish when it comes to like reloading, ADSing and stuff. Of course, a lot of this has to do with the movement in Battlefield 2042 because the movement overall is relatively sluggish. It feels like you are on ice most of the time. But when it comes to the guns, we for example have the problem with the portal guns that the reloads are just non-functioning or basically the animation is over but you can't shoot your gun yet and so you are in this awkward position where your magazine is back in the gun but you can't shoot the gun because your guy needs to put his hand leg on the barrel again and this feels very clunky but also a lot of the reload animation just don't feel that smooth overall and then i think if you were to know what i said combine all of this together you basically scrap visual recoil you scrap the spread keep suppression out of the game you add actual recoil to the guns people can learn you increase the time it takes to kill somebody on range while also making the animations and the handling of the gun smoother i think this would increase the gunplay like tenfold and would make it so that people that actually get kill streaks or even normal players that get killed it would feel way more rewarding so another thing this might be a bit more controversial than what i have said up to this point would be i would love to see battlefield with an 
HP increase. Call of Duty currently did it with Modern Warfare 3 where they actually increased the HP to 150 instead of the normal 100. And I would really love to see this done for Battlefield because currently if the game works, you know, netcode, hit rack and stuff, that isn't really up to snuff here. But if it works, you die so insanely fast in Battlefield currently and it's just not fun. I have situations where I like come around the corner and I basically hit all my shots, hit rack function super fine and the guy is dropping before he even has his gun up and I think overall it isn't really a fun gameplay experience for a lot of people so slowing down the TTK just so slightly maybe just one bullet more in like close range so most guns kill in like three to four shots so instead of three to four they take four or five shots I think this would do a lot of the game but that's very debatable I think a lot of you probably have a lot of different opinions on this but this is what I would love to see I would love to hear your thoughts what do you think about my gunplay rework for the next battlefield game in quotation marks because it's not really a rework it's more of like proper gunplay like other games have it but yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as always if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one